Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another video on Injustice 2 Mobile. Alright guys, so uh, yesterday the update did not happen. And uh, yeah, but anyways, we have to continue the series. So uh, I'm just glad that a game got started this morning. Otherwise, uh, you know, otherwise I, I did not have any spare videos to upload. Uh, especially on new account series since I make these videos uh, every day. On a daily basis, I I cannot uh, pre-record it or something like that. It's, it's uh, that was not that is uh, to be honest not possible. All right, guys. So before we get into the update, I just wanted to let you know that if you are new to the channel and if you are watching this video for the first time, I would like to ask you to please uh, like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to the channel. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, let's let's start off the video with Arena. So I played Arena this morning. I played a lot of it. And as you can see, I'm on uh, rank 217. That is probably the lowest rank, the highest rank, I'm sorry, that I am on right now. Uh, you know, and 29 victories, not bad. I still have one day and 13 hours left. I'm on Elite 4, uh, 3.5 million points. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have been asking me that how exactly I am reaching Elite 4 uh, with just 3 and 4 and 5 million points. So, you know, last season, I had around 7 million points at till the end of the season. And I was on Elite 4, barely on Elite 4. And I was somewhere around over here, you know. Uh, but but yeah, I did make it to Elite 4. And, uh, you know, the reason why is that, uh, you know, the, every time I when I start a new account, what I usually do is I started either at the end of the month or like in the beginning of the month. You know, that is usually uh, where, uh, that's my logic, okay. I may be wrong. Okay, I may be, I'm not saying that I'm right. I may be wrong, but usually what I have seen is that whenever I create an account, uh, you know, and uh, it's in the beginning or at the end of the month, uh, you know, then they usually put us in an easy arena, a new arena. So that makes it an easy arena, you know. So, but, and the other factor that also affects is that if you're not playing arena regularly, then other players in your arena might, uh, you know, be uh, more, much further when it comes to the characters and the roster. And that is the reason they are getting more points than you. And that is the reason you're not able to reach uh, Elite 4 even if you're gaining like 10 and 11 million points. You know, so that is another factor that might be affecting your uh, rank in the arena. So if you have any questions again about this, please let me know. I'll try to figure out if, if there is something that you don't know and I don't know too. I've not mentioned it in the video. I'll try to, you know, for search the answers and give it to you. All right, guys. So as far as the arena store is concerned, let's buy some shards for predator batman so just need like 70 more and after this i need 55 more yep 55 more shards here we go five five another five here we go again another set of five shards all right, uh, so I don't think I've bought the gears for... Let me just check. Let me just check for Nightmare Batman. Or I think I did. Yep, I, I did buy all the gears for Nightmare Batman. So that's that's good. All right, guys. Now moving on to Solo Rage. Uh, let's jump into Solo Rage. All right, so I was on Tier 2. And I played a few fights in Solo Raid this morning. Uh, I, I think I played all of it. All the six uh, pips. Okay. And I'm still fighting uh, boss Catwoman. Let's see. Okay, opponents obviously cannot be stunned or frozen. And there's power fluctuation. Opponents' power generation is increased. Obviously, allowing certain abilities to be used more frequently, and uh, she can blind and everything else that what Batman and Catwoman does. She can do everything. Uh, you know, apart from regenerating from DOT, she can do everything. And I think she also has immortality when we come around 10, 5, 10 percent of the health uh, down to that. Uh, but I'm not really worried about the progress because I'm this close to unlocking King of Atlantis Aquaman, and when that happens, you know, everything that that will be a game changer for me for this account. And I'll start defeating these big bosses and sub bosses in a very less time, like in three and four pips at the max. And I can take around 15, 20, or maybe even more damage. And uh, eventually it will make my life a lot easier, you know, on this account. All right, guys, now uh, let's, let's move on. Uh, let's move on to campaign. I don't think I've played campaign, uh, but let me just, you know, let me just 
you know what forget campaign let's go into cat champions arena i need to show you something i've got promoted to the next division that's exactly what i wanted to show and i got 200 gems uh yesterday and i'm on division 8 vega bond okay nice all right guys so this from here on i think i might need to play every day uh you know at least two to three fights uh, every day at least six to eight points like 15 to 20 20 points i think every day should get me to uh 140 150 points at the end of the season which should be enough i know i think it should be more than enough for me to get myself to the next division so i don't think i might get some shards nope only gems and then the shards will start getting from i'll start getting shards from division six yep that's right all right guys so uh yeah it's it's fun champions arena is a bit uh you know i would say uh hectic because you consistently need to change characters for every fight yeah there are three rounds per fight and two rounds per fight but still changing artifacts and changing characters might be a bit uh you know uh hectic and annoying for a lot of people too you know so but yeah the defensive team is going to be the same i'm not going to change anything over here at this point uh, but let's see in the future i might uh, when i get some decent characters i might change the i might add them into you know the defensive team let me see if i, I can actually add some characters over here i don't think i can but let's see i don't know why this is working a little slow okay i don't know why how how it got back but anyways anyways let's let's move on uh let's let's go in uh yeah let's jump into the roster directly so i basically did work on the gears for nightwing i don't know if i have shown this to you before uh yeah i did work on the gears for nightwing a little bit i've upgraded a special three upgraded a special three to level 15 and that is about it for last 24 hours that's the only thing that i've upgraded i'm going to get some shards for nightwing today and tomorrow and i'll definitely uh get him to four stars uh, eventually he will do more damage in the in the arena that's the plan and let me show you how many shards i'm short uh to unlocking king of atlantis arc man i think yeah uh 35 shards so i already have 400 league credits uh which means i can buy 10 more shards which 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 should take me to 135 and then um yeah you know 25 more shards and i'll have this guy unlocked all right guys so uh yeah, I guess uh, that is about it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and let's meet again in the next video. Until then, guys, have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Be blessed and stay safe. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.